Howdy y'all, and welcome back to Buddy Simulator 1984. I'm exhausted as f bear with me. I'm very tired. <laughs> I can't even remember what happened last episode, I'm so tired. Regardless of what happened, let's just continue. Oh, I remember, we're actually, we're in the right, we're heading the right way. We're supposed to be down here in the fish town, and we're supposed to talk to someone. That's all I know though. I remember you, I'm not saying another word to you. Oh, I can go in here. Oh, it's Guggen! Well, isn't this a cozy little shop? You're right. Well, 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 look what the fish reeled in. I saw your speech on the stage a bit ago. Mighty fine words you were speaking up there. Gave me genuine hope that we'll all make it out of this alive. The Reginald sent you, huh? Well, since Mayor Caleb just died. Yeah, he just up and died. King Raph will try to take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the docks, seeing as my do my deckhand? Is that a word? Thing is, my deckhand hasn't returned. Daryl picks up our delivery there every morning, and I'm starting to get worried. I would go and find it myself, but I simply can't leave the shop with it being so busy. So, to find King Graf, I would start with those there docks, and if you could bring back Daryl while you're at it, I'd be so grateful. Good luck out there, adventurer. Free eye patches. Looks like there's one left. You take it and you put it on. There, now I have an eye patch equipped, and that means I can get across the docks. That I do remember. What's wrong with this fishy over here? The decoration seems to have fallen, off, fallen from the others. It sits broken and lonely on the floor. Look at the fishies. The fish look so comfortable knowing that they have each other. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. They have each other. They're comfortable. I'm not even gonna bother talking to you again. Ugh. I don't know. Don't, please don't offer me any more kidneys. I see you back there. I want that lore. It has been... Oh, I need to go back and get it. Before I forget, I need to go up there and get it. I know how to get to it, and I mentioned it in a previous episode and just straight up forgot to go get it. Oh, Olin, I need to unequip it. There we go. Um, change equipment. Shoot, I can't unequip it. That means I can't go, I can't go back and get that lure. That sucks. Um, well, let's see if we can get through this next part of the game, and then we can go back. Hi again, friend. Would you look at that? You own an eye patch too. If that's not a sign of a real pirate, I'm not sure what it is. Well, anyways, you're in my trust. Come on through anytime you'd like. Well, does that mean I can take the eye patch off now? I want that lore so freaking bad. I guess not. I'll come back for it. Eye patch on a clip. Oh, no wonder they were free. Oof. Okay, cool. We will progress with the story in a minute. I want to go back and I want to get that thing over there. I want to talk to him, too. I haven't talked to him. Hello, my name is Plapo, and I love to bake. Baking is such a relaxing hobby, even if you aren't great at it. Unless you get to eat your work. You can't get any better than that. I want to make an old-fashioned pear cake, which is my favorite dessert. But I also haven't been able to find pears anywhere. If you come across a can of pears during your travels, please let me know. Until then... All I can say is keep on begging. Maybe try making some chocolate chip cookies. Well, didn't we give... Didn't we give a thing of pears to a character back in the other town? You dig and find nothing. You know what this means. We're coming for Jay. Alrighty, y'all. Here we go. It's always good to keep an extra three and a half inch floppy disk around. You never know what could happen. But they're extremely reliable. Years from now, I'm sure we'll be using the latest and greatest for computer storage. But these bad boys can hold up to 512 kilobytes. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fuck ton. That's insane. I'll have a few of these. I have a few of these laying around here somewhere with prototype versions of the game and even another game I was working on called Numbly. This game will correctly guess your own birthday. Not very exciting yet, but one day I hope to release it. But first, I need to make the game for you. I don't know who you is, like if it's me specifically or if it's like someone else in particular. I want to know what it is. I want to know who they're talking to though. Are there any other houses that I can enter? Any other people that I can talk to before I go on to this next mission? I want to enter everywhere I possibly can and see everything that I possibly can see before I go on to this next mission. Can I... Okay, I can't break those. Huh. <laughs> just wanted to make sure she knew her place. Before we go anywhere... I'm gonna use this bed, actually. 
Yes, I would like to sleep. Where would you like to travel? Home the north. Good night, Xander. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh. Damn, it is home. Okay, then let's head up to the other town. Gotta find a can of pears for that baker dude. <laughs> They're all floating with me. That's so dumb. I'm so excited to go on this adventure with you. I hope you're just as excited as I am. I have so much to show you. There's our buddy, Dundee. They're waiting for you. You don't need me anymore. I always need a good Dundee. There's always a necessity for everyone. There's Are those, his, are those Rudy's arms up there still? Can you take him? Nope, still can't take him with me. Can I re-enter the house down here? I also missed a piece of lore inside Scroobert's house. Nope, still none. Well, we're still looking for a way to get Mr. Tortley back, or Mayor Tortley back. But if I can't, I can enter here, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Wow. Looks like Word of Toots Tonic got around. Bless. Look at all these frog people. Ribbit. I love them. And of course, there's Lennox. Well, they got a new watch. Frank recommended it to me. He's actually quite the gentleman. You know, I like talking about my thoughts and feelings. Whether or not you care, still has me feel better when I talk about them aloud. You're such a good friend. I wish you luck on your journey. Until next time, I'll be here to sip my apple juice. And there's the the Joker sitting right there at the table. Welcome back to Toots Tavern, friend. Feel free to hang around and enjoy the tavern ambience. Cool. I'm glad that you actually got some business now. That makes me very, very happy. As much as I hate to do it, I think we should check on, uh, check on Mustache Man down here. Oh, Lloyd looks so happy now that he's found a friend. He's not... Ooh, he sounds like a burp. I hope someday you can find a good... A dead Gwemma. Dead Gwemma's not a friend. Dead Gwemma is not a friend. Dead Gwemma is dead Gwemma. And you should bail we her. I hope you're having fun out there. And I just start singing. That's usually what I do. You got this. We believe in you. Ugh. Don't talk to me. Can I... Can I free this guy? No. Still can't free that guy. Totally cool. Totally fine. Not worried about it. Are there any other places that I need to go to? Anyone else I need to talk to so that I can find a can of pears? Maybe I can talk to Cauldron? The air smells wonderful. There's still so many options. Even with the higher texture quality, it's hard to make out. There's a thing over there. I, know, I gotta go talk to them. <laughs> Welcome back to the shop. Don't ever be afraid to stop by and taste my yummy belly juices. I'm alright. Thanks, buddy. Ugh. Finally, he's chilled out. Hey, punk. I'm taking my one and only break from making deliveries. I don't have time to play little search and rescue games with you. Wow. Well, as stern as Baina is, Banna is... Uh, she's got her responsibilities, and I have mine. Maybe I can go back in here and take a, take a can of pears? Yes. Oh, hi again, brave adventurer. I hope your journey is going well. If you're ever bored, I'm always looking for a babysitter. It'd be, it would only be a quick gig, like a day or two. Maybe a year. Nope. No pears. No can of pears. Unfortunate. Well, then, do I... Do I have anything else? No. Then where do I get a... Where do I get the pears from? We're just gonna head back into the other town and see what we can do. Actually, maybe now that we're back at the house, there's lore that I'm missing. There's places that we previously were not able to get into that we can now. Doesn't this place look even more pretty with the color? It's really starting to feel like home. I mean, I, I guess. You insist. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. I can't believe I missed this. We're light years ahead and I have to go back and get that. Bruh. Hmm. How interesting that I can't go over there anymore. 
The area is blocked off by trees. Well, if that's the case, then onward we go. Oh my god, get off the tower! What? 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 What are you doing? Get off my counters! You're gonna get them all dirty! Oh. Well, good morning, Sleepy. I hope you had a fun time in the dream realm, and don't really- I watched you all last night, so you were safe. Thanks, I appreciate it. Anyway, we're back in Calebville, so I think we're ready to progress forward now that we've gotten everything out of the way. Well, we didn't get much done today other than retrace our steps looking for pears, but I did want to leave the excitement for the next episode. We know what we have to do now, and we know where we need to go. We are well on our way to defeating the rafts and eliminating the raft problem in Calebville. I just wish we could find some pears. But if you like this episode, or if you like Buddy Simulator 1984, leave a like, subscribe if you want, ring the dinner bell for notifications next time I go live, or next time there's a new episode. And with that... Thank you for being here. It was a pleasure, and I'll definitely see you next time.